Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 365. And if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook. Excel Magic Trick 358 to 369. 365, 364, 363 all have to do with returning the first non blank. Now, in our last video, we did it with an array formula. In this video, we're going to do it with a non array formula which just means you don't have to use control shift enter and for most people uh, most people just don't uh, know much about or use array formulas so here's our situation we have a bunch of uh, cells and we want to return the first non blank so we want a two here a five here a seven here we also want our formula to be able to be robust and deal with the fact that sometimes formulas deliver blanks, but we don't want to return this as something in the cell. All right, we're going to use the index to look up the first non blank. And we will use some true false criteria. So we'll get, in essence, uh, is this not blank? That's false. Is this not blank? Yes, yeah, so it'll be true. False, true, true, true. We're going to start off by using the index function. We would like, uh, and notice that says array there, index function can deal with um, arrays, which will come in handy in just a moment, because that'll be the uh, conceptual trick to our non-array part of this formula. All right, but for the first part, uh, the array is we need that relative cell range um, to look up our values, right? Because that's where our values are comma and the row number well we need a column number but as we saw in the last video this argument understands if you're not using both column and uh, row this can be either one so we're going to build our uh, column uh, number retriever here in the row argument we're going to use the match because remember we're going to be looking up trues we want the first true so I'm going to use match our lookup value is going to be true, just like it looks the same as last video. Now here's the difference. In last video we said the lookup uh, array will be that um, not, which is less than, greater than, double quote, so not blank. That's an array. That means the formula is array. So we need to somehow um, replace this with something else. I'm going to cut that control X and how we're going to do it is this trick here. We're going to use the index because the index can return that whole range of trues and falses but it can handle an array. So the array is going to be control V. So really we took this part out of the match and put it inside as the array inside of the index and it can handle it just fine. Now the row number, we would just want the whole row because it's just a row and comma here's the other trick. If in the column or the row for that matter, but in the column number, if you put a zero, it means return all of the columns. If you were to put a, a zero in a row, which we've seen in other videos, it says return all the rows. So that's the trick. The trick is two things. One is the index can handle this array, and that zero means return <laughs> the whole row. So really, we've just taken this one part here from our last video, put it inside of an index with a 1 and a 0, and boom, it's no longer considered an array. We don't have to use Control Shift Enter. Now, we still uh, have to deal with uh, a match, so we have to comma. We have our lookup value, our, uh, our for match, the uh, lookup array. Finally, we have to put our match type with 0 close parentheses on the match, close parentheses on the index. Now isn't that weird? We have index, match, and index, index inside of an index. I'm just going to hit enter, boop, and then copy this down, and sure enough it works just fine. And just as in last video, we have some cells where it says not available, and you can deal with this multiple ways. Uh, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to do the 2007 way, if error, if error is just awesome. There's the value. You don't have to, like in earlier versions, list this whole thing twice, comma, and the if this thing comes out to be an error, what do we want? 
double quote, close parentheses. Control enter and then click and drag it down. That is just awesome. Now, and if you want to see the, t oh, I'll, I guess I'll have to put a column here with the 2003. I'll, I'll make a 2003 formula too. But, oh, that is so cool. What a cool trick there. So we don't have to do the array. Use the index to deliver the array to the match. And of course, thanks to Aladdin at the Mr. Excel message board for this post all the way back in 2003 for the uh, trick uh, 63, 64, and 65. All right, we'll see you next trick.